Yo, what's going on dudes? Hopefully everyone is doing okay. You join me outside Cooper Motorcycles again, because today we are going to be riding the new Moto Marini Sia Mezzo 650. Today's video was made possible because of Cooper Motorcycles. They have a great selection of new and used bikes as well as all styles of riding gear to help keep you warm and safe throughout the year. Whatever it is you're looking for, Cooper Motorcycles can help you out. They also do nationwide delivery on all of their stock, including their motorbikes. They also have professional mechanics on site to help keep your bike in top riding condition. If you're looking for that new ride for the summer, pop in and see them. If you're not able to visit them direct, you can give them a call about any of their bikes and they'll have it delivered direct to your door. I'll leave all their details and social media information in the description below. So if you saw my video a few months back, we actually rid this bike over here, the Marini X Cape. So this is basically the exact same bike, but it's the street version. It weighs a little bit less, but a lot of it is the same. We'll go over that later in the video. But right now, we're going to nip out, have a wee ride for a couple of hours because it's cold. So I don't want to be out too long today. So we'll get out, have a ride, and then we'll talk about some of the specs. So this bike is part of the Moto Marini range, as we said. But this bike is the Moto Marini Sia Mezzo STR. It's the street version. You get two different types. In fact, you get three, including the adventure bike. It's a 649cc. Everything is exactly the same as the Escape, you know, engine spec and that sort of stuff. It doesn't have the big adventure stuff on it. So it's a whole lot lighter roughly about 40 kilos which is a huge saving so I'm expecting this to have a little bit more pulling power yes it pulls all right it's a 649 you know I'm not expecting it to you know be doing crazy speeds anyway but straight away I can tell that it's got a wee bit more pull on it you know over what the X Cape had the mirrors are not too bad they're all right I mean they they give me what I need the shape's kind of weird, but it's kind of cool. I like the TFT screen. I mean, I like TFT screens anyway, regardless of the bike, but I like seeing screens like that. This does have ABS and traction control. We'll go over all the, the settings and all that sort of stuff later on when we stop. But at the moment, we're just trying to get a first impression figured out, you know? How's the engine braking? I'm not throttle blipping. I'm just checking the engine braking. It feels fine. It's not overly aggressive. I was pushing it about a wee bit before I started the video and it's very easy to push about, it feels nice and light so it's got so much more pull than the X-Cape you've got to expect that, you know, it's a lot, lot lighter you know, there's nothing different the horsepower is the same, it's coming in with about 61 brake horsepower 649cc it's quite a cool looking bike, I do like the look of this bike you can get the SCR, which is the scrambler version that has a, a fly screen the front mud guard's also a little bit higher, it comes with different tyres the tank's slightly different there's not one of them available at the moment but I'll get some pictures and pop them up on the screen for you but I kinda like the look of this one over the scrambler as for the actual seat height, it's definitely shorter than the X-Cape the X-Cape I could get from what I remember, I think it was like the tip of my boots down, you know, I was getting my toes on the ground with this bike I'm getting the balls on my feet so it's definitely a lot shorter it feels exactly the same ride height as my as my SV650S it feels very similar height wise it's got a very very light clutch in it as well which is probably beginner friendly which leads me on to a point where this is probably a great bike for someone who's just passed their test it's not got loads of power it's very easy to ride light clutch you know it's light to push about you know if you're going to be putting it in or out your shed or your garage or whatever if you're a rider who's currently training for your A2 this is also an A2 friendly bike sixth gear just slowly pulling it on it's got more than enough power for you know if you're a new rider looking to get a bike or you're an experienced rider and you're wanting something to, something to commute on maybe you know it's got more than enough power for what you need for that oh what a beautiful day to be out on a new bike absolutely beautiful bloody cold but <laughs> absolutely beautiful it is a quiet bike it's not a loud thing, you know. 
which might be ideal for some people, you know, depending on where you stay, you might not want motorbikes starting early in the morning if you have to commute, you know, an old bandit with a big aftermarket exhaust waking the whole street up, you know, <laughs> this thing is not going to do that. This would be a great bike for schools, you know, for teaching people to ride. They're starting at 6,849 on the road, you know, so for sub seven grand, it's not bad, it has been a wee bit slippy the last few days, so I don't know what the lock's going to be like, there's not going to be any gritters down there, so we'll go down, if it's slippy as hell, we'll go somewhere else. Nice and quiet today, which is nice, so we'll go and give this thing a wee U-turn, see what the turn on circle's like park up and we'll go over some of the specs, we'll go over the dash and things like that. Oh yeah, you can circle absolutely no problem with this bike. It's absolutely no problem. You can sit and do figure of eights, you can do nice big circles. There's absolutely no issues. That's why I think this would be a great little bike for schools. You know, I think this would be a good option for schools. It's very, very user friendly and it's very beginner friendly, which is the most important thing, you know, especially if you're having people who have never been on a bike before, or a big bike, but yeah, nice and easy to ride, nice and easy to slow manoeuvre, all that sort of stuff, right, we'll have a look about it, and we shall go over some of the specs, and the one test I always like to do with bikes when I first get off them, is the side stand test, absolutely fine, so there she is, the Moto Marini Sia Mezzo, I don't know if it's Sia Mezzo or Zio Mezzo, I'm not too sure, but I'm just pronouncing it as Sia Mezzo, 649cc. We could get the tank in black, I think that would be a cracking looking bike, wouldn't it? I do like the, the whole, you know, gimmick of the six and a half thing, I don't, th I, I don't put it there, I don't think that should be there. It's alright having it there, you know, but having it there, there, and I can guarantee it's probably on the other side as well, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't have that there, you know, that's just my personal preference, you know, up there's fine, don't know about this, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of this, you know, I'd prefer it either up here, you know, I mean, I can see where they're coming from, you know, with the mud guard and whatnot and uh, things like that, you know, it's quite stylish, you know, I guess, but I'd prefer it if it was up here, again, that's probably something you can aftermarket yourself, you know, go and get a little kit and take that off and get it put up there, you know, I'd, I'd just prefer that gone, you know, I'm just not a big fan of that being there, you know, it looks alright, there's nothing wrong with it, you know, but uh, I, I'd like it up here instead of, instead of there, but again, that's just, that's just personal opinion, that's just a design thing, it obviously doesn't affect the bike any. We spoke about some of the things, you know, cosmetically, so we'll go over some of the specs just so you've got a rough idea. The engine's a 649 parallel twin. It's exactly the same engine that was on the X Cape, so there's no difference there. 61 brake, so it's not got tons and tons of power. From what I felt, it feels absolutely fine. You know, it feels like it's got more than enough power. It didn't do any overtaking or anything, just purely because it's not the best conditions. It's a wee bit slippy in places, so we're just taking it nice and easy, but you would have absolutely no problem overtaking stuff if you needed to do that. You've got Kayaba forks front and back, the upside down forks on the front, and the Kayaba monoshock adjustable preload on the back. You know, fairly normal stuff. The seat height is coming in at 810 millimetres, so that's what, what was the X Cape? Was it 825, I think? You know, so it's a wee bit smaller. It's a wee bit smaller than the X Cape, but again, You've got to expect that, you know, it's not an adventure bike, this one. Dry weight is actually coming in at 200 kilos. I thought it was lighter than that, you know. I honestly thought it was lighter than 200 kilos. So it's a little bit heavier than what I thought it was going to be. But again, it's not super heavy. You know, it's not a heavy, heavy bike. I was pushing it about, um, you know, the courtyard at Cooper Motorcycles, and it was absolutely fine. It didn't feel any heavier than what my SV feels like to push about, you know, so you shouldn't really have any problems doing that sort of thing with it. Brembo brakes front and back, um, 16 litre fuel tank, so it's a couple of litres smaller than what I thought it was going to be, but it's still 16 litres, it's, you know, it's adequate, that's not too bad. The brakes are alright, I mean the front brake feels alright, I mean it's got more than enough power, same with the back brake, you know, they're not super aggressive brakes, but they feel okay, double discs and calipers at the front as usual, you know, single at the back. So that's the basic specs 
of the bike. You know, there's probably a few that I forgot, but you would have seen them on screen anyway while we're talking about it. So what we'll do is we'll get the dash switched on and we'll have a look at the settings and see what it's got available. So that's the dash. Nice and simple, nice and straightforward, easy to see everything that you need. The controls are, you know, nice and simple as well, up, down, set, back. As for what we've got on the actual dash, got your rev, your speed, your gear, you know, everything that you need. You can also connect a phone up if you wanted to make a call, listen to some music, that's also an option. So going to settings, we've got bike info, connect, display and system. Bike info, as you'd expect, it tells you all the inform information you might need to see on the bike. Connect is obviously, if you want to connect your phone. Display, we've got view and brightness, view. Now there's a thing, it's actually on the SCR screen. This is the STR, so you can switch it screens. So what is, let's just remind ourselves, so that's the SCR, that's the scrambler screen. So we'll pop it onto STR, and see what that looks like. Oh, that's totally different. That's completely different. I actually think that's better. I quite like that. I think we'll leave it on that one. I like the, the rev indicator and stuff, that's kind of cool again. Also in display we had brightness, but that's going to be self-explanatory, you know, auto or manual. We'll just leave it on auto. Then system, language, units, time and software. So that is it. That is the Moto Marini CMEZO, CMEZO, 649, 650, 6.5, you know, whatever you want to call it. You know, it's definitely a nice middleweight bike. You know, if you're in the market for that kind of size bike, you know, don't just overlook it, you know. Definitely go and have a wee browse and see what you think. If you get the chance to take it out for a wee test ride, take it out, you know, see what you think about it. You know, it's, it's definitely an option. There's nothing that's screaming at me saying this isn't a good bike. Because it is a good bike, you know, it's a nice comfortable bike to ride. I suppose you kind of need to ask yourself as well, who is this bike for? You know, is it for the newer rider? Is it for an experienced rider? Is it just your commuting bike that sort of stuff you know you've got to think about all this sort of stuff and uh, for me I'd say this was kind of aimed at the newer rider like I said I think this would be a great bike for schools for teaching people to ride this would do it no problem you know in my personal opinion I'd probably say this bike's more suited for that learner or newly passed mod 2 rider if you do want to check this bike out give Cooper Motorcycles a call they will absolutely sort you out they'll let you come in have a look at the bike have a wee seat in it um, and see what you think it is starting at 6849 on the road that's for this specific model the scram was a little bit more expensive it's still probably going to be around the kind of 7k mark Ooh, not too bad I forgot that wee tunnel was there I'll have to find somewhere in the area that has a big long tunnel but yeah first impressions it's all right, it's a good bike. But anyway guys, hopefully you enjoyed this first ride review of the new Moto Marini CMEZO. But if you have guys, give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate every single one of your likes. And if you want to see more of my content, make sure and click on that subscribe button. But until next time dudes, stay safe, ride safe, take it easy.